Tonight, the clan take on an Edinburgh Capital side that have only won one game in their last five. However, that game was a 6-2 victory at home against the Brayhead clan. The main danger man for the Caps tonight, without doubt, is Pavel Vorobayev. The man from Kazakhstan was a first-round draft pick for the Chicago Blackhawks back in 2000. He scored 21 points in just 16 games. A fantastic achievement so far, definitely a guy to look out for. However, the clan have got plenty of firepower themselves, with three men in the top four scorers in the league. Alex Levitt, Matt Becker and Scotty Pitt as the top scorer in the Elite League. There has been plenty of goals in this fixture so far this season. The fans will be hoping for some more of the same. Let's go ringside with Craig Anderson. Frost. Carson. A pit. He lays it off well. And Matt Becker. Pitt gets a touch! <laughs> Wonderful touch from Scott Pitt. Matt Becker win the assist on that one. Sends it in from the far right. Pitt just doing enough one-handed to get the stick on it. Sending the black disc beyond Fullerton. And Plan have the lead on 229, it's 1 0. Solomon chases after it with Garrett Milan. They call him the pocket rocket in Edinburgh due to his diminutive size. Mackenzie. Good effort from Mackenzie. Strikes the post. Hammond went in with a follow up, not so lucky there into the side netting. Edinburgh looked to break now. Ian Schultz. Schultz has to go on the outside, and it's taken away. Becker on the break now for the clan. Rose Hill and Pitt in support, three on three there. Pitt, and it's the second one for Scott Pitt. Wonderfully hit shot. Beats Fullerton on his left side. It's two from clan, two from Scott Pitt. It's 2-0. Peacock battling for the puck. Now for Obiev. It's intercepted by Levitt. Matt Keith with the turn on the backhanded. Effort into the net and beats Travis Fullerton. Disastrous start for Edinburgh. Five minutes into the game. Vorobiev's error allowed in. Alex Levitt laid on from Matt Keith. Keith on the turn. Just tucked it into the net. And it's planned. 3-0 up already. A case of going back to basics for the Caps. Stalin Baldwin tussling it out this near side. Griggers feeds it in. Zykowski. I thought Zykowski had that there. It's escaped him. It's Rehard Griggers who scored for Edinburgh. A somewhat unlikely goal. It stunned the home fan. Certainly stunned me. It looked as though Zykowski had it. It's escaped through him and into the net. Edinburgh have pulled one back. Now, the referee, Alan Craig, is coming over to the scorekeepers here. And no goal. No goal given on that no one. No goal. Becker. Becker comes in on the outside, lays it off for Rose Hill. Rose Hill sends it in looking for Becker. There's Pitt in support on the far side. Now Edinburgh on the break. That's Vorobiev. Good effort from Vorobiev. Jacob Johnson thought he had the open goal. Fantastic save from Mikhail Zykowski. Johnson can't quite believe it. Thought he had an open net. Wonderful glove save from the clan goalie. Plenty of action so far in this opening eight minutes of this game. We saw three goals, a possible fourth one that was wiped out, and a wonderful save from Mikhail Zykowski. Just how he got that one, only he can answer. My goodness, what a game so far. It's a good effort from Edinburgh. The shot sent in, Johnston gets his goal. A shot from the centre of the clan defensive zone. Beats the clan goalie this time. The Caps have pulled one back. It's 3-1, a well-taken shot from the Edinburgh captain. And the deficit is cut to two. 
plan. Doing the defensive work well. Scott Arson picks it up now. Pitts, hustled by Dobrin. Schultz on the outside. Windows number 11. Tries to move it in. Tchaikovsky covers. That is far post. Nearly at the halfway point of the game. It's a bit of a shoving match between Arson and Garrett Milan. He's jammed up against the boards here by Richard Griggers. And it's Keith. Not able to get the shot away. I think that was Griggers. Jacob Johnson it was. The two captains coming together. Keith with a shot. A snapshot from the clan captain. Another body save from Fullerton. It's Ian Schultz, very much on his own there. Durazio, Milan gets one off. Lekowski's beaten on his right shoulder. And the Capitals cut the deficit to one. Garrett Milan with the goal. A good effort from him. Lekowski didn't know much about it until it was behind him. And now it's 3-2. back in action against Matt Tipoff on the far side after returning from his sit down in the penalty box it's a chance there Zykowski's flat out oh, Tipoff collided with him Zykowski was flat out on the ice he's going to need some attention and the fans showing what they think of that one making sure Zykowski's okay. This will take a couple of minutes. Our plan, wait to be satisfied that Zykowski's okay to continue. Gary Russell, of course, is back up. as though Zykowski's okay to continue. We'll just take a wee minute just to make sure he's definitely all right to go on. Just making sure his movement's okay. Looks to be all right. Capitals. Looking for that equaliser. If it comes, it'll be a big equaliser for them. Coming up on eight minutes to go. Hammond, and he plays in Daniel Asberg, one on one with Fullerton. Asberg sends it over. Golden opportunity there from Clans number 22. The Swede one on one with Fullerton sends a shot over the bar, agonising for the home fans. Plan changing the lines now, but Edinburgh coming through. It's Jacob Johnson. Oh! Bit of a tussle there behind the goal. Cody Carlson involved with, I think it was Jacob Johnson. <laughs> Nevertheless, the goal moves, play stops, 6.37 to okay, go. Joseph. Last piece of play, Johnson fires it in. Becker chases after it. Trying to swipe out of the clan zone in these final few seconds. That should be enough. That should be it. And it's all over. The buzzer goes. Literally bodies on the line in that last piece of play. But one or two slight confrontations. The official's right in the middle of it. But it's all over. The clan have hung on in the end. They've taken the victory. Three goals up after five minutes. Two from Scott Pitt. One from Matt Keith. Edinburgh fought back with goals from Jacob Johnson and Garrett Milan. However, they couldn't find a breakthrough in this third period. Clan, start the weekend with two points. It's finished. Rayhead Clan three, Edinburgh Capitals two. 
So uh, not a great start, obviously, for Edinburgh, but you must be really proud of the way your team fought back in the end. Yeah, it's it's our pro it's our problem this season. Start the game, every game, first ten minutes. I don't know, I don't know what's happened, but uh, I think next fifty minutes we we played well, but Brehat is a very good team, and it's a hard for us to uh, go back to the game when Brehat is three goals up. It's obviously very difficult when those three goals come in, like you say. You called the time out at that point. What what did you decide to change at that point? Things had to change, didn't they? Uh, I I changed nothing, but uh, only we we have to restart our, our mind. We we start bad, and uh, I hope to, tomorrow we will play much better. And tomorrow you've got five. What's your preparation like going in for that? Is it the same kind of team, or anything changed for tomorrow? I will see. I, I am uh, full emotion after a game now, and uh, I, I thinking about next game at home and tomorrow. And I, I hope the guys will go same way. Last 50 minutes. Thank you very much, Michael. Much appreciated. Okay. So, Matt, a fantastic start in that first period. Probably the best first period we've had all season. Yeah, we knew we needed to come out better than we have, and, and uh, you know, playing at homes. Uh, it should be, you know, something that you you take pride in, and, and something that, especially with the crowd that we have, it it should be something that we you know can get up for. And, and I think that we're all disappointed with the way we've played at home. Um, I think we've let points slip away, and, and uh, you know it was, it was good tonight. You know the way Pity came out and a couple of goals and Pitter and that line kind of got us going there. And then um, you know you're up three nothing, and I think you know we still had quite a lot of chances in the first after after that, but. Uh, you know, that team they've shown before, they're not going to quit. And, uh, you know, you, the longer you let them hang around, they, they feel like they have a chance to, to come back. And, and we saw that tonight. But I thought, you know, in the third period, we did a, a good job. Um, you know, I talked about it a lot after the second and, you know, said stay positive. Let's, let's close this one out. Let's learn how to win these games like this. And, and uh, we did. So I think it's something to build off. Yeah, and big save tonight as well from Sykowski. Good to see him back uh, in the goals there and performing really well. It was a big save, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, Z's, you know, Z's Z, he's a quiet guy. He's a, you know, very mild-mannered guy. And, and uh, you know, you, you know that he's going to be there when you need him. And, and uh, yeah, it's, de it's definitely nice to have him back. Obviously, you don't want to see anybody injured. But, um, you know, thankfully, we, we also have a, a great goalie in, in Gary Russell and he was able to come in and, and play well for us, you know, and, and uh, no question, we're probably going to need both guys down the stretch here. So, no, it's good to have Z back, but it's good that we have both guys healthy. A very big game tomorrow, obviously, in Dundee. It's been a team that have been quite a tussle this season. What can we expect for tomorrow from this team? I think, yeah, I mean, it's a it's another big conference game for us, and it's about, you know, it's time that we, we put two wins together here in a weekend, and, you know, there's, there's no easy games this year. So, you know, last year it was a bit of a, a bit of a battle or, sorry, last weekend was a bit of a battle with them, and we went up there on Sunday and, and played well, and um, you know came away with the two points. So got the two points tonight, and it's time to go up there tomorrow and, and uh, make it three in a row. Is it surprising how quickly a season can turn around? Like uh, four points in a weekend, Clan could suddenly see themselves up in fourth place with three players uh, in the top four scorers in the league. Yeah, I mean, you know what? You, if you look back at uh, at all the frustrating nights and all the points that you, you know you could maybe say that we've we've dropped or, or given away it's uh it's it's tough to to look at the the standings and, and see you know where we where we could be but it's a long year and, and uh, there's a lot to play for and, and um there's no easy nights so so uh it's important for us to get on a bit of a roll here thank you very much good luck tomorrow great thanks, Cheers,